Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got this Hummingbird F4 Pro from Newbie Drone. I want to thank Newbie Drone for great customer service. I'm not sponsored by them, but the first one I got, uh, I'm not sure if it was something I did or something they did, um, but it was not working properly. So within a week they shipped me out another one. I got my new one now. So let's get straight to unboxing it. And then after that, I'll get you guys some flight footage. So here we have it, the Hummingbird F4 Pro. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. This thing is one cell compatible, so don't try to stick on two cell because you will definitely have a problem. Let's go ahead and get it out and check that out. So on this Hummingbird, we do have the new Beat Drone 0802 18,000 kV uh, motors and those are made by Newbie Drone and then uh, on the flight controller that is the F4 Pro uh, flight controller and then the 12 amp ESCs this thing flies amazing um, and I will get you guys up in the air so you can see in just a little bit I have a small house but you still can see how it flies so good and it's great for small places that's what these are built for this thing all by itself weighs 22 grams or 22 and a half grams and then with the battery, if you stick on one of these uh, nitro nectar batteries, you're going to be at th uh, 30 grams and three quarters. So about pretty much 31 grams there with the battery. Uh, with this bigger battery, I'm not sure what it weighed a little bit more, but you actually do get a lot longer flight time with these. It's just that you can't stick them in here, so you kind of have to rig it up with a rubber band on the bottom, which isn't quite as handy as just sliding it in quickly. And I like that option. A lot so now we're gonna get in the air with this thing and see what you guys think you can form your own opinions this is pretty cool as you can see there is a random antenna sticking out of here this is actually because I already mounted in and you can see in the bottom here if I can get it into focus I already mounted in my uh, TBS Nano receiver so that's really easy it fits in there really good and you still it's under where your uh, motor pads are so you won't be having problem with that being in the way but that fits in perfectly I'll actually make a separate video of how I soldered it up and where you want to solder it and then also what you want to do on your computer after you get done soldering it so let's get up in the air and see how this thing flies I've already flown it some it flies amazing I'm really loving it and so you guys can see how it flies let's get straight up in the air now Thanks for joining me for the video today guys I hope you enjoyed it I am loving this hummingbird and I could not recommend it more it only costs $79.99 so pretty much $80 and you have a lot of fun in this thing if you're just getting into FPV it's a great choice you really can't break this thing if you do a lot of the parts are very cheap so it's a great choice if you're just getting into FPV and also if you're like me, you have a lot of FPV experience and you're just wanting something to fly for the winter. Great choice, $79.99 batteries are super cheap. I couldn't recommend this more. Next week, I will be putting up a video of how to connect the Nano RX, Team Black Sheep Nano RX to the Whoop. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I'll show you how to solder. and Also, what buttons to push on Betaflight, what buttons to punch on Betaflight so you can get it working properly. I am running this with my Tango 2, works great. And I couldn't recommend this little whoop more and I could not recommend Newbie Drone more. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, go down in the comments, leave those questions and I'll do my best to answer them. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.